Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Paige. And I'm Lydia. And this is The, the Lion, Lion Report. Report. Let's start off today's show with some daily announcements like usual. Thanks, guys. And here are your daily announcements. Attention all rising juniors and seniors interested in the National Honor Society. Stop by the center room today to discuss the application. The Girl Up Club is having a fundraiser tomorrow at Aliso Viejo Ice Palace from 7.15 to 9.30 for a two-hour ice skating session. Please show up and tell them that you're there to support the Girl Up Club. Emerald Cove Day Camp is looking for summer volunteers. It's a two-week long camp for kids ages 5 to 10. This is a great way to get Christian service hours, so come by the campus ministry office for more information. In a last-minute reminder about the Haiti Club semi-formal father-daughter dance, which is happening Saturday night in the center room. Enjoy dinner from chow pasta, dancing, and fun for $75 per father-daughter couple. Additional daughters who currently attend JSAIR may attend for free. Tickets are available online now at jsair.org slash father-daughter through today and after today. Tickets will be available at the door for $85, so get your tickets ASAP. Those are all the announcements today. <laughs> Back to the guys in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rachel and Jill. Hey, Paige, are you going to the father-daughter dance? Yes, I am, and I'm super excited. Are you going? Yeah, me and my dad are going, too. I can't wait. Well, let's go check out a promo for father-daughter dance. Hi, I'm Mr. Jaso, and this is my granddaughter, Miley. We want to tell you about a very special event that's happening this coming Saturday. That's right. It's a father-daughter dance. I think everybody knows the details about the dance, but I do want to tell you about the pure joy that I see year after year when the girls get out there and, and have the best time. There's no drama, no guys, oh, sorry guys. The pure joy of being with their dads and with their girlfriends and just sometimes they just get up from the table and, and run out to the dance floor and dance together. It sounds like it's going to be a blast and the girls are going to have a great time with their dads. And let's not forget about the amazing food we are going to have because they're catered by chow pasta. And uh, senior girls, you know, I'd really like you to take the lead and talk to your friends, your classmates, your dads. Encourage them to come on out and have a great time. The next time you dance with your dad will probably be on your wedding day. So get online and purchase those tickets, girls. You do not want to miss this once in a lifetime event. See, See you, you at the, the dance. dance. Thanks, Mr. Jason and Miley. So I heard that Miss B's broadcasting class has been working hard on some segments. Yes, we have a segment from Jillian Kay on Fish for Life, so let's go check it out. Giving back is an important part of life because it leaves us feeling happy and beneficial to the success of our society. Fish for Life is a nonprofit organization designed to provide love and inspiration to a multitude of special needs people while teaching fishing skills and ministering to the value of life. There are a variety of details that go into making the Foundation's events so special. The day begins with a red carpet introduction for every person as they board the boat. Once aboard, the participants are grouped into teams and assigned a fish team leader who is responsible for their child's every wish on the trip. The first mate explains sea life, destination, and aquatic equipment as young adult volunteers serve appetizers throughout the trip to make kids feel like celebrities. Back at the docks, everyone is given a medal for their valiant efforts out on the high seas. The smiles of the participants' faces are priceless. If you'd like to find out more about how Fish for Life is making waves toward a friendlier world, visit fishforlife.org today. Ooh, thank you, <laughs> Jillian Kay. Just a reminder that we should all keep Christ in our minds towards the end of this Lenten season. And with that, let's go hear a Lenten quote from Jillian Chade and Bella Fernandez. Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Jillian. And I'm Bella. And here's your daily quote. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. So no matter how much you sway off the path, God is always there to keep you on track. And let's remember to praise Him and give up all our worries to Him during this time. Thanks, Jill and Bella. And before we sign off, we wanted to give a huge shout out to Nina Jameson, Sophie Carrile, Jack Hempel, and Paul Matthews, 
Four of the AP Chemistry students who participated in the ACS Chemistry Olympiad exam last weekend and finished in the top 10 teams in Orange County. Great job, you guys. And with that, I'm Paige. And I'm Lydia. And this has been The, the Lion Report. Report. Have a great day, Juicero.